911, what's your emergency? Yeah, we just wanted to say thank you for sending an officer to uh, help us on the side of the road. Um, we appreciate it. And uh, if you could tell them thank you, um, we really appreciate it. We made it safely. And our AC is working now, so thank you. Oh, you betcha. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, switching to plan B is the best. <laughs> it's coffee time. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Should have whipped cream and not that milk. She's asking if it's hot or iced. What's that? Ah, uh, yes. So we've made it just about as far as, well, to the on ramp to the interstate. And something is loose, so we're now on the side of the road and we're trying to tighten it up to just to make sure everything is secure. For the best. Give me refunds. All right, we put up with this crap for 500 miles. It got so hot, it was 82 degrees outside, and it started to rain while having the, win the uh, windows rolled down was keeping us cool. So when we rolled the windows up, it got so hot in here and, and the kids about died. So I let Mariah drive and uh, did a bunch of YouTube stuff. And uh, here's what we were dealing with. We got this can of Super Tech from Walmart, okay? In the directions, you put on the end, you read your gauge. Ours, of course, was going up and down. So it was fluctuating around. I uh, didn't say anything what to do in that case. We figured, oh, we needed a mechanic to look at it. So I diagnosed everything else, looked at the, the uh, compressor clutch. We swapped um, some fuses. Um, there's a little breaker still, or a little breaker thing underneath the hood. We swapped that. We uh, diagnosed sensors. And um, finally, I found this video hidden like in the YouTube vault way in the middle of nowhere. Um, I found out that because this one doesn't have a trigger, there's no trigger, there has to be some kind of valve to put coolant from here into the AC. So if you do decide to go to Walmart and get the Super Tech stuff, this 134 refrigerant, what you do is you hook it up, you look at your little gauge and make sure it's not in the red so it doesn't blow up on you. You take your little valve and turn it to unlock, turn it counterclockwise to unlock, and then push the button. When you push the button, that releases it. So as soon as I did that and uh, did my 12 o'clock to three o'clock position shake and uh, coolant started going in, um, all of a sudden we have AC. We're gonna get back on the road and uh, hopefully everything's good now. Um, we do still have a bunch of uh, some rubber smelling, burnt smelling, but I think that's because of the exhaust stuff that we put on. JB Weld steel stick. And we also put on some uh, JB Weld Extreme Heat um, 
to uh, temporarily take the place of where uh, our gasket was uh, deteriorating and creating a lot of noise. So um, we're gonna get back on the road and hopefully we have a better trip. And we have air conditioning. At least we don't have to pay a thousand dollars to fix it though. What's that? Air conditioning. Woo -hoo. Air conditioning. Did you guys get a little bit wet? No. No, no we... we're perfectly dry. What are you talking about? Dude? Oh my gosh! Oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh, oh, that's awesome. We got air conditioning. You need to get out and check the straps. Stop videoing me. I didn't approve. I didn't give you written consent. Hey. All right, go. I get the inverter if you do it. Okay. Deal. We gotta yep. shake on it. We gotta shake on it. Yes. All right, go. All right, cool. Oh, good God. When we get home, you can turn the inverter on. Dude, shut the door! Yeah, it's just the Velcro thing. <laughs> he never said window. That's bad. What'd you okay. get? What'd you get? What'd you get? We have stickers! Let me see. Awesome. Super cool! I designed that. That is pretty awesome. How many did you get? We got four, five, so 60, I think. Where did it come from? They came from Vistaprint. Oh, but we got to cut them up? Yes, we have to cut them. Oh, man. Oh, man. So All right, cool. That's so awesome. Um, and we're back in Iowa for a few days. Yeah, we got back late last night about... Almost midnight. Yeah. Maybe 11. Yeah. I don't know. We're still kind of tired. Um, it's been kind of a dreary, rainy day. What We're used it? to like 90 degrees in Florida, and then we get here, and it's like 50 degrees and rainy and uh, cold. Cold. And um, we're just kind of not feeling it. We were supposed to be pulling out. We were going to go to another spot in Iowa oh. to uh, <laughs> visit some friends and things, but... We got here and like, no, no, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. It was kind of weird though. The governor lifted the um, camping restrictions, so we haven't been... We haven't had to share with... Yeah, so we haven't had neighbors the whole time we were here. So we come pulling in late last night and uh, we look around and there's like just cars and campers everywhere. Um, it was, uh, it was strange. Nobody's out, everybody's inside, but we're just like, whoa. Yeah, it was a Saturday night. I mean, it was a cool night, but you would think some, you know, people would be out by the campfires and things like that. And it wasn't too terribly late, but... Um, but they were social distancing. I guess they were social distancing, so... What did we do then? We went to, uh... Oh, we went to uh, where Mariah's uh, work was to get uh, some of our mail that we had forwarded there. And, uh... Kind of a bummer. Um, somebody opened her mail. She's uh, had some glasses sent um, that she kind of needs, and uh, they weren't in the package. So, but we did get our stickers, so yeah. that was a good thing. Yeah. Sorry about the the <laughs> sorry about the image the video quality on that. Um, it was late. I wasn't gonna get the whole thing set up and everything, so I just took out my personal cell phone, and it's. I'm sorry. My bad. You get the idea though. So yeah, tomorrow is... Tomorrow we're going to try to pull out of here. Um, tomorrow is moving day. Yeah, we got to do some cleanup and um, some packing and stuff still. So Trying to organize and get things situated. Yeah, we did get a new battery for the camper today though. So last week uh, we blew a breaker um, <laughs> off the shoreline power. And supposedly the lights are supposed to stay on. And... Uh, we blew the breaker on the shoreline, so it was the battery was supposed to kick on. Well, it didn't. Um, it stayed on for like two seconds and then kicked off. So uh, we got a bad battery. So we we replaced that today. Um, so hopefully we don't have that problem anymore. So are you? We're gonna tell anybody where we're going? Nope, nope, nope. It is a a it is top secret. It'll be a surprise. We'll do okay. It. So we will give you a clue. It is the southwest. No, it's not. It is. No. <laughs> I'm geographically challenged, so believe him over me. <laughs> it's the southwest. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> North is up, south is down, 
West is, wait, north is up, south is down. West is going to be over here to you guys. Like California, west. Yeah. Southwest. Hey guys! Oh gosh, you're about to hit me in the head. What are you doing? Cutting out our stickers. Awesome. What are you doing? Recording. Ah. They look awesome. They came out pretty good, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, the particle came out. What do you got? Stickers. Sweet. For you guys. How do you get one? Um, you. All right, so this is the first edition of our stickers that we ordered. Um, we ordered a limited amount of them, so if you'd like one, just uh, drop us a DM. Yeah. In our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Drop us a uh, DM in our Instagram or uh, message us in YouTube. I think you can do that, right? Can you yeah. Do that? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Um... So if you'd like some, uh, just DM us in Instagram or contact us through YouTube. And they are $2 a piece. Um, unless you have your own stickers, we'd be happy to trade sticker for sticker. Yeah, that would be so cool. That'd be really cool. Um, we'll see how it goes. And to pay for them, you can just send a payment via PayPal. I don't know. We'll make it work. Yeah. We haven't got out the kinks quite yet, so this is kind of our first uh, trial run of kind of our switching to Plan B merchandise. So anyway, in the meantime, we're gonna get packed and get ready to go. Yes, we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.